Hey guys, Anchor Monkey here with another Retro Game Treasure unboxing video. So for those who are new to the channel and you're wondering what is Retro Game Treasure, this is a video game subscription service that sends three to five games to your house every month to add to your personal collection. This is not a rental service, you get to keep these games. And these games are on a variety of different consoles that you choose which consoles you want games for. Whether you want to go with old school like Atari 2600 or Intellivision, uh, or if you want to go a little bit more modern. But like I said, they've got Atari, they've got Intellivision, they've got all the NES stuff from the NES all the way up to the Wii. So NES, Super Nintendo, 64, GameCube, and Wii, as well as the portable stuff, the Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS, and Nintendo 3DS. They have Sega stuff, so you can get stuff for the Sega Master System, Sega Genesis, Sega CD, Sega Dreamcast, and Sega Game Gear, although don't expect to really get anything for the CD or the Dreamcast. I have one of each from RGT, but that was like three years ago, but I just figured I'd mention it just in case. You can also get stuff for uh, PlayStation 1, 2, 3, and 4, as well as PSP, uh, as well as the original Xbox 360 and Xbox One. So like I said, you can go old school with like Atari or Intellivision, or some of the more modern stuff like PS4 and Xbox One, which by the way, I usually do get a PS4 and an Xbox One game in my box, as well as um, sometimes an import Game Boy Advance game or um, an Intellivision game or an Atari game. That's usually how my boxes are set up. So anyway, you go on the website, you fill out a survey, and also along with the survey you can fill out a wish list feature for games that you're looking for for your box. Don't expect a game like Earthbound. I mean, yeah, sure, you can put it on your wish list, but you're not going to get that in your uh, $35 or $40 box here. Um, but say Super Mario World, you just got your Super Nintendo and you're like, hey, give me Super Mario World, yeah, you might get that in your box. Um, I usually get a wish list, sometimes two wish list items um, per box because I've just got a, a, a pretty good size wish list. There's also a checklist feature, so that way if you're like, hey, I've got over a thousand games in my collection, how do I make sure I don't get duplicates? Well, if you fill out that checklist and do it right, you won't get duplicates, or not as likely to get duplicates, because there's always going to be stuff that falls through the cracks that you didn't even know about. But you got to make sure you check off all versions of that game. So I've got Star Wars Battlefront on PS2, I've got the Greatest Hits version, but I went ahead and checked off that I have both the Greatest Hits version and the regular version, so that way I don't get a duplicate game there just because it's under a different title or whatever. So, guys, if you're into only collecting, like, the non-greatest hits, or if you're only into collecting the greatest hits or whatever, it's probably a good thing to go ahead and check both of them off, so that way they know, oh, okay, you've got this game, I'm not going to send it to you. I also recommend to go over to the original Xbox and check it off on there as well, unless you want it on both the PS2 and original Xbox. Some people want it on both, some people want a full PS2 collection and a full original Xbox collection. Um, for me, I've got it on PS2. Even though it's a Greatest Hits, I know a lot of people hate Greatest Hits. To me, I can play it on my PS2. I'm happy with that. And uh, like I said, I also made sure to check it off on Original Xbox, so that way they don't send me that on Original Xbox as well, because to me, that's a duplicate game. I already got it. I can play it whenever I want. I've got it on PS2. So those are just a few little um, tips for you guys of things that I've learned in the last five years that I've had this box. Yeah, I've had it since... Um, April of 2019, or May of 2019, I think it was May of 2019, yeah. Uh, so anyway, yeah, do all that, go on the website, fill out a survey, and that survey tells them on what genres of games that you like to play, um, check off what you like, don't check what you don't like, so say all those infamous sports games that nobody seems to like, well, don't check off sports games unless you want sports games in your box. Um, I've almost never gotten a sports game in my box. I think I got one on Atari, but that's fine because it's Atari. It's almost like, I don't know, it's almost like its own thing getting a sports game on Atari. So it's not that big of a deal, but like, I've never gotten a Madden game or uh, whatever in my box because I made sure to not check off sports games. Um, but yeah, you can check off um, so many different genres, platforms and shooters and arcade games and RPGs. There's also like the subcategory of like the style of games. If you like um, Disney games or Pokemon looking games or skateboarding games, wrestling games. So there's almost a, a subcategory as well under the genres 
Uh, then you can also check off um, if you have like an NES Zapper or a Super Scope or stuff like that. If you're fine with getting import games, you're fine with getting demo discs. There are so many ways to customize this box to make it a one-of-a-kind box specifically for you. And uh, I guess that's it. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but um, yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead. Huh? I wasn't as smooth in opening the knife as I usually am. There we go. Much better. All right, I'm gonna pull this out of frame, and uh, I'm gonna turn the box backwards like this. So that way we don't get spoilers of what the next game is when I pull out the first game. Alright, ooh, big boy here. I got the, the big boy air defender light from discountairpillows.com where pillows are inflated, not prices. That's a big boy protecting our games. That's the only boy, actually. Okay. Well, anyway, this is uh, the most important thing in our box. As always, I gotta give a shout out to discountairpillows.com where pills are inflated at prices. The most important thing in our box to make sure that we do not get games that are damaged because that's bad. So, um, alright, so I feel an Xbox One game and two similar sized cases which tells me that I got an Xbox One game, a PS4 game, and a PS3 game. I don't know the order of the PS4 and the PS3. All I know is I can feel the Xbox uh, logo on this top game. So uh, I guess we'll pull that out first. Oh. We got Indivisible on the Xbox One. RPG action and platforming collide as you explore vast hand-painted world. This, these, I love these graphics. Look at that. that that's nice. Yeah, I, I like that. So yeah, I'm, I'm actually, I've never heard of this game. Um, this actually might be my pick of the box. I'm not sure yet. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty excited about this one already. Very cool. Anime style. RPG platformer game. Very cool. Alright, but we got two more games. Okay. So we got... I... Do I have this game? That's a very common thing. If you guys are new on the channel, um, there's probably somebody out there that has created some kind of compilation. At least I kind of hope that somebody did create a compilation of how many times I said, do I already have this? Because... I feel I already have Plants vs. Zombies uh, Garden Warfare 2. Um, it just feels like something that I've already gotten. Oh, now this disc was loose. Um, there's a scratch. You can kind of see it right there. Um, hope it's okay. Um, but I'm going to check if I already have this game. So, um, I already do have it. I've got it on Xbox One. So remember what I said earlier about make sure that you keep your stuff updated and uh, make sure you check off all versions of that game. However, I also said that sometimes it'll fall through the cracks. This was apparently one of those times because I know I've had this game for a while and now I've got two copies of it. So this is like my third time in a row where um, stupid me forgot to check off a game. Um... That's a little upsetting. However, I'm kind of glad I do have it because, like I said, that scratch kind of concerns me. Um, but I don't have to worry about it because I do already have it. Um, okay, so I still can play one to two player. Solo play and split screen. Okay, cool. Because I don't do online stuff because I just know that sometime uh, in the future... They're going to shut all that stuff down, and then you wouldn't be able to play your game. But if there is a one-player mode, you can still play it at least. Anyway, we got one more game. This is sealed. Ooh. Okay. Um, this is no longer my, my, um, this is no longer my pick of the box. Because I got Zero Time Dilemma on PS4. Oh. I'm excited. I've been wanting this for a while. Okay, so, um, 
check out my playthrough of 999 on the DS. Um, this is the third in the series. So you had both, you had the 999, nine persons, nine hours, nine doors on the DS. Then you had Zero Escape, Virtue's Last Reward, which is the second game on the 3DS. And Zero Time Dilemma was also on the 3DS. And then they re-released those games. You have the Zero Escape 1 and 2, so 999 and Zero Escape 2 on one disc on the PS4. And then this was also on PS4. So this is the third game. And I love this series. It's so good. It's one of my favorite series of all time. So I am stupid excited to get this, actually. Yeah, so um, we have some characters from the first game. We've got some characters from the second game. And, of course, we've got some new characters as well. And if you want one of the greatest video game stories ever told, you got to check out the Zero Escape series. Um, in fact, like I said, we've got a full playthrough of 999 on the channel. So um, watch me and Jackson play through that, and you've got all the context of the first game. Um and uh, at some point, I'd love to play the second one on the channel, too. I just know that Jackson's no longer interested in doing Let's Play stuff, so i got to find somebody else. But, um, yeah, I'm excited. So, um, these two alone make up for the fact that i got a duplicate here, because this I'm excited about. This looks cool. Um, and uh, this is a good game. I just already have it. But we got a strong box this month just just look at that we got we got three games here and um, um these are all some pretty solid choices so um good job retro game treasure um even though you sent me a duplicate that was my fault we got some good stuff here um so anyway we got uh this um given tips for the boss chest giveaway which gets you a new to you retro game console um i remember when i first subscribed to the service the sega master system because i didn't have one at the time was the boss just giveaway item i know a sega genesis was a boss just giveaway item i know a ps1 was also a boss just giveaway item i'm sure there are others as well i don't know if they do that every month or once a year or like what the the thing is um but yeah all you do is um Take a picture of your box and post on social media and you're entered into the giveaway. And uh, one lucky winner gets a game console that you can then get games from RGT for your new game console that you won. So yeah, that's how that works. Um, and if that interests you, I have a referral link below where you can try this out for yourself. And it's also my personal referral link. And if I get three referrals in a month, I get a free box, which I've never had that happen before. But um, who knows, one of these days, I'm sure uh, that'll happen. I just need three people. That is all I need, three people to use my link. Um, and I will get a free box, which I will be able to do a double unboxing of Retro Game Treasure, which would be amazing to have on the channel. But um, that's all up to you guys. I mean, obviously no pressure. I've got plenty of games on my shelf. Um, sometimes I struggle to find room for what I have here and I've got a huge stack of new games to show off on, um, the channel as well. Um, so if you're into, Ooh, what else did you get? Stick around. I'm going to clear off the table and I'm going to one by one, uh, lay on the table new items that I got. I've got a lot of great stuff coming. So definitely stick around to find out what that is. Okay, so um, yeah, I got plenty of pickups I want to talk about. Things that I got um, at the very, very end of July, and then of course the things that I got throughout August. Um, the first things I want to start with were a couple digital games. I know, me, Mr. Physical Collector, collecting digital games. Not really my style, but, um, well, I'm sure we all know and I'm sure you guys know too if you watched my video talking about the Microsoft store closing me and Kajinama went through the uh, digital store on the Xbox 360 one last time or actually my very first time and my last time um, so I got a few games because well Aegis Wing you saw me download it while the video was going that's a free game 
Um, I'm not really the biggest fan of like the shoot 'em ups like this, but um, I mean, Kajinama says it's really good, and uh, I'm like, oh yeah, it's free, so yeah, you get a free game because it's free. <laughs> sure, why not? Um, I probably missed out on a few other free games, but I was really only on the Xbox store to get a couple games that I really, really wanted, and this was just one that was free. Um, another one that I got was Harm's Way, which was also free. Um, I, I don't really know how to describe this one. I mean, it's a racing game. It's Harm's Way by Doritos. So, um, yeah, I thought it was just a racing game, but it's like a vehicle combat type racing game. Um, like, Game Eye says, Harm's Way is a fast-paced, action-packed race where both drivers and snipers need to team up to win the race. As a sniper, you need to blow up the competition. As the driver, you need to finish three laps first. To vote for this game in the Doritos Unlock Xbox Contest, download Doritos Harm's Way Gamer Pick by going to... The, okay, yeah. So, yeah, so... One person's the driver, the other one's a sniper sniping the other cars, I guess. It, it's, it's weird, but... It was free, so... Yeah, I got it. Plus, it's by Doritos. I like Doritos. Nacho cheese Doritos. Hmm, tasty. Barbecue's not bad. Not the big fan of Cool Ranch. I know I lost like five subscribers by saying that, but nacho cheese is still quite delicious. Anyway, uh, I got um, two more games from the Dead Rising series, which I've got all their physical stuff. I mean, I've got Dead Rising 1 and 2. I played those on the channel, by the way. Um, and uh, I do have off the record, I do have 3, I do have 4. Um, but here were a couple games that are digital only that I never got, and they're not that long. Um, so I'd love to play through these, especially since I've played through 1 and 2 already, that it just kind of makes sense to play these somewhere in there. But um, I got Dead Rising 2 Case West, um, which the game features Frank from the first game, and he serves as the canon overtime mode of Dead Rising 2 with Frank teaming up with Chuck to figure out what's going on with the Phenotrans and the Fortune City zombie outbreak um, and also find proof that um, clears Chuck of any wrongdoing. So it's kind of like an extra ending past to Dead Rising 2, I think is how that works. Um, which is really interesting because, I mean... <sighs> I think I probably still like Dead Rising 1 more than 2, but I like the mechanics of 2 more than 1. I mean, the, the the weapon building, which I'm not usually a fan of, is really simple in this game, so I enjoyed that. And I especially like the survivors um, a lot more in the second game than I did in the first game. Like, oh, I raged so hard in the first game on those stupid survivors. Frank, help! Oh, shut up, Aaron. You got a katana in your hand. Use it. Anyway... Um, I also got Dead Rising 2 Case Zero, um, which is a prequel to the second game. Like, it takes place the events leading up to the second game, so I guess I'd have to play through Case Zero first, um, because I think it's all about Chuck and uh, his daughter Katie trying to, like, survive the zombie apocalypse, and I think that kind of leads into why he needs to go to Fortune City for the events of the second game. I think that's how it works. I don't know. I've not played it. I don't really know much about it. So if I do play these two games on the channel, they'd be completely blind, which I guess is kind of the best way to do a Let's Play thing is to do it blind, as long as you know what you're doing, which is why, um, uh, I don't know. I guess in some of these games, I do need to play them blind, but there are other games where I'm like, no, I need to actually know what I'm doing. Otherwise, we'd be watching the same level one for eight hours straight. Like Ninja Gaiden, I did not have a good time. Um, so anyway, those are the four games that I got uh, digitally. Um, but I also did go to GameStop because it's August now, new month. And um, so, of course, I had to get some stuff there because, um, yeah, why not? So uh, they had another deal of the... Four for twenty dollars that are games that are ten dollars or less, and four games for forty that are twenty dollars and less. So I actually found four games that were under ten dollars. So I got four games 
for twenty dollars, or like I guess it was like four seventy five was what it ended up being. So um, I think I scored here. I mean, nothing like too crazy because they're five dollar games, but um, uh, I got some games I'm I'm excited about. So first up, I got uh, Indiana Jones two, uh, Lego Indiana Jones two, of course. So uh, I got the first one that actually came with my uh, Xbox 360 back uh, Christmas of 2008. Uh, it was the uh, two pack where it had Lego Indiana Jones and Kung Fu Panda. Um, and uh, so here's the uh, second game. Obviously, you can see that it takes place um, Crystal Skull. Um, so I guess it's not taking place during a good movie, but it's a Lego game. Like these Lego games are fun. Like Lego Star Wars, Indiana Jones. Um, Lego Batman, Batman 2, technically, uh, was the other, uh, Lego game that I got. So I got two Lego games, uh, at GameStop. Um, like I said, like, both of these are just fun games. It's just the best way to put them. They're, they're fun. They've got a lot of humor, a lot of imagination. You still get to build some Lego stuff, but it's just a fun game, a fun series. So, yeah, I got um, two games in the LEGO series. I got uh, Need for Speed Undercover, um, which I don't know why I'm looking at this when you guys can just look at the screen right there and it tells you on when it came out, but uh, this says 2008. Um, I have a couple of the Need for Speed games, uh, but obviously I didn't have this one, otherwise I wouldn't have gotten it. Uh, I mean, I know that sometimes I do get duplicate games, but that's it's not common. I mean, I know it shouldn't happen at all, but it's not common. Anyway, yeah, uh, I got uh, Undercover. Um, and then the fourth game um, was uh, Two Worlds 2, which is funny because I didn't know, I had never heard of this series before. I'm like, oh, this game looks interesting. I got home, I had the first one on my shelf. I'm like, huh, I guess I had heard of it because I have the first game. But uh, now I got the, the second game as well. So I got those four games for $20. And um, then I was over looking at the, the PlayStation stuff, then going over to the Switch stuff, and um, I found a game in the Layton series, which I only have one other game in the Layton series, and that was the first Professor Layton game on the DS. I got it for Christmas back in 2010, I think. So it's been a while. And uh, I enjoyed the Professor Layton games, but I never got any more. And now some of those games are really expensive. Um, but I managed to get this one, which I've never seen. Um, so this actually involves his daughter. Um, her name is what? Catriel or Catriel or something? Um, and it looks like... I read something about like her father went missing or, or something. I, I could be wrong on that, but um, it, it's basically about... Layton's daughter, um, which is, is kind of cool. I mean, I, I enjoy, I mean, it's, it's a fun game. It's, it's a puzzle game. I mean, it's like, it's still like a mystery game, but you're solving like little puzzles and stuff. It's, it's a fun time. Um, just, I'm really dumb. And so those puzzles in that Layton game, I'm like, I don't know. These puzzles are hard. And they're like, oh, use the hint coins. I'm like, okay, here's a hint coin. And I'm like, I still don't know. Here's another hint coin. I still don't know, but they're still fun games. Um, and then the last game I got at that GameStop, it's still funny in 2024 to find retro games at GameStop, such as a Nintendo 64 game at GameStop is just unusual. Now, you're wondering, ew, you got a sports ball game? Because... Well, some of you guys might not be like that, but those who know me, you're like, dude, why'd you get a sports ball game? This is actually a fun sports ball game. For those who have heard of NBA Jam, um, this is the sequel to it. Or like a successor follow-up sequel thing. Yeah, it's, it's a sequel um, to NBA Jam called NBA Hangtime. It's, it's basically a slightly enhanced version of NBA Jam that's on the 64. I mean, it's also on the... Um, the original PlayStation, I think they might have even included this on the Super Nintendo, but, um, like, late in the life, but, um, this is the version that I knew of to exist, so that's the version I wanted. Plus, it makes sense that I have, wait, do I have NBA Jam on, 
Super Nintendo or Sega Genesis? I don't know anymore. But uh, anyway, I got uh, this one now, which, like I said, I knew it existed on the 64, so I wanted the 64 version. So that was what I got from one location. Um, and then I wanted to go to um, a Half Price Books location because I like going there. So I found um, three games there. Um, so I got uh, Far Cry Instincts Evolution, which I've never actually played a Far Cry game, but I keep buying them. Um, but this is, I think, one of the first, not the first, but it's one of the first, obviously being on the original Xbox. Uh, came out in 2006, but um, it looks like a fun time. So um, I'm excited to um, check that one out on the channel at some point. And then I got um, Ghost Recon Island Thunder which I've also never played a Ghost Recon game. I keep buying these games. I'm like, that game looks cool. I'll buy it. And it's also cheap, so I'll buy it. And I'm also thinking, I've never played these games, and I keep buying them. So, um, but I'm assuming they're good. Like, I mean, the, these games tend to get pretty good reviews. And um, obviously the, the gameplay right there, I'm like, yeah, this game looks pretty cool. So I got that. And kind of like the highlight that I got at that location... Okay, I wanted to make sure that I had the uh, thing in there. It was uh, Steins Gate Elite on the Switch, um, which is basically the first game, but I think they included voice acting in this version or something. Experience a fully animated adventure with brand new scenes exclusively created for Steins Gate Elite. Embark on a sci-fi journey to change the past and the future. Over 30 hours of gameplay. So, um... Steins Gate is one of my all-time favorite anime of all time. Like, it's... You know what I mean. All-time favorite anime of all time. Yeah. it's It's been a long day. I got plenty of energy, but my brain is just like... Melted butter right now. But, like I said, Steins Gate Elite. Fantastic series. One of my all-time favorite uh, anime. Uh, involving um, Okabe. And uh, basically it's like time travel stuff. It's, this this game's a visual novel, and obviously the anime is based off the visual novel, but the anime is so good. Like, it's, it, it, the story is, is really, really good in that. Um, so uh, I'll be able to play the story instead of just watch the story. It's like an extra level of experiencing one of my favorite stories. So, um, yeah, I had to get that. And then... Um, so when I was at the first GameStop location... Um, he's like, oh, you need to go over to this other location because that location bought all our retro stuff. So if you want to buy some retro stuff, go to that location. I'm like, sounds good. I've never been to that location, but I like retro stuff. I go there and I was expecting 64 stuff because he told me that because I bought that 64 game. Uh, I go there. It's mostly DS and 3DS as far as the retro stuff. And they did have a Professor Layton game there, but the case was so faded, I just, I couldn't bring myself to buy it. So... In that regard, it was kind of a disappointment, but it wasn't a disappointment because the three games that I found are games that um, I either never see or never have seen or just haven't seen in a while or um, just harder to find games, I guess. Um, so I got the uh, Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection. It has um, all ten of the Mega Man Battle Network games. Um, because, like, I know that around, like, 3, they branched into, like, blue version and white version and dark red and dark blue. Ver I don't know. Like, they have, like, they started to go Pokemon versions uh, around, like, game 3 or something. Um, but that includes uh, all that. I don't know what the difference is between, like, blue and white version. If there's, like, one version that's better than the other or if... Um, both are like different enough that it's worth playing through both. So, um, if you guys know, let me know in the comments below. Um, and then I got Danganronpa Decadence, which I don't really know. Four games in one. Okay. Um, includes the three main titles, which is Trigger Happy Havoc, Goodbye Despair, and Killing Harmony. Also features the brand new Danganronpa 5 Ultimate Summer Camp, a board game style bonus game. Huh. Interesting. So what about 4? It doesn't have Danganronpa 4 then. Which, isn't 4 like some weird spin-off on like 
the phone or something. Like I, I know there's a, a a game that you're shooting at like Monokuma's in the city or whatever. I don't really know. I guess that's not included on this, but um, Danganronpa, another game that's got a great story to it. I've got the collection on the PS4, um, but I wanted to get this because it's got an extra game to it. And the the last game that I got in this run was uh, another code recollection, which is a like remake of a DS game and a Wii game. And uh, they're basically put on this one package, like it's remade and all that. Um, I hear the story is really good and the game's really good. I don't really know anything about it except for, uh, again, the gameplay that you're seeing right there. But this is the first time I've actually seen this game in the wild. I'm like, okay, I gotta get this because I know if I don't buy it now, I won't see it again for a while. So I had to get it when I did. So anyway, yeah, that's what I got. Um, there might be more after this, but um, this was um, this batch of games plus this four digital games. So yeah. All right, I got two more games to show off. So uh, I went to GameStop because I always go to GameStop and um, picked up uh, Vampire is how it's pronounced. I thought it was Vampire, but uh, people say it's Vampire. Um, I don't really know too much about it outside of the, the gameplay that you're seeing right there. Um, but it's like a, an action RPG with supernatural abilities and stuff. Sounds pretty cool. So um, I picked that up. I've had that on my wish list for a while. And uh, I found it for $15. So um, it's no brainer. Yeah, I'll pick that up. And um, my other one that I got, uh, pretty excited to find this, was um, the... Quantic Dream Collection, which, by the way, right here, you're only seeing footage from Detroit Become Human because um, I'm going to be talking about three games at the same time, and that's just going to be too much to look at and show off to have three different games there. But um, I do have Heavy Rain on the PS3, um, but now it's on PS4 as well. So these are all... I don't know if they're in the same series or just from the same uh, like game studio... But they're all very narrative-driven games. Um, so, like, Detroit Become Human, uh, obviously you're an android. Um, but, yeah, every decision you make affects the story. And um, I don't know if they're, like, mystery-related. It, it seems that, from what I saw from uh, Become Human, it was almost like a, a mystery. Um, and also trying to deal with the fact that he is, in fact, an android trying to become a human or trying to be seen as a human when everybody sees him as just an android. Um, I don't really know too much about the other two, um, but they look really cool, and I'd love to play this on the channel at some point. So those were the uh, the last of the two games that I got. Um, so that, along with everything else you saw in the video, as well as all my previous unboxing videos, I've got so many years of unboxing videos, basically. I mean, not years watching, but years of me unboxing videos. Um, I've got all that on the the, uh, the playlist as well. So um, go back and check out some of those previous ones if you want to see more unboxing goodness. And um, yeah, if you see a game that you're like, ooh, I'd love to see that on the channel, let me know. Um, it is a very slow process going through that because I don't know, I've just been extra busy lately. I've got a whole bunch of Tales of Symphonia that I haven't even edited yet. Um, but we have like four hours of footage, maybe three hours of footage, something like that. Um, so we do have more stuff coming. I just need to find the time to do it. Um, but yeah, you're, you're not ignored. Um, I just need to clear off some of the other stuff that's already in our lineup before I add a, a new series to my rotation. But um, every game that is suggested, I will write it down. Obviously, if it's a game I don't have, that's going to be a lower priority because I have no way to play it because I'm mostly a physical collector. But um, I've got over a thousand games in my collection, so there's a good chance I probably do have it, unless it's really obscure or something. But uh, yeah, just comment below on a game that you want to see played on the channel. I'll write it down and um, I'll get together with Citrus Fruit or Kajinama or Phoenix or some combination and. Uh, uh, Hopefully we can get that going pretty soon. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified. So that way if that game that you wanted to see comes out, 
you'll know because you're subscribed. Um, also, like the video, of course, as well. That that would be a, a great help. And um, you can also follow me on Facebook where I post these videos on there. I also have an Instagram where I completely forget that I have uh, until I make a video like this where I'm like, oh yeah, I've got an Instagram. I need to post something to that. And then a month passes and then I make another video and oh yeah, I have an Instagram. I haven't posted that in like a year. And then another month passes by and same thing. But um, follow me on there because you never know when I'll start posting stuff on Instagram again. Uh, it's fun. I just forget I have it. Um, but the most important thing is the Discord server that I am on regularly. So if you want to hang out with me and Citrus Fruit, Kajinama, Phoenix, and a bunch of other great people, don't forget to join the Discord. All you need to do is just be like, I want to join your server. I'll be like, cool, here's an invite. And um, just join the community of nerds where we have fun hanging out nerd out. Talk about video games, anime, Pokemon, post memes, talk about nostalgia. A lot of fun stuff like that. So um, if any of that interests you, yeah, it's very simple to join the Discord. Um, I just have to send you an invite. Yeah. So, um, I guess that's all I really have to say. So, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to like and subscribe.